Yeah. Okay, Scott. So what are we looking at here? We got a we got a fiberglass bat here, a wall bat. It's uh, we have two by fours, 16 inches on center, with a friction fit R13 fiberglass bat, unfaced in this wall cavity. And this is a nice, pretty cavity. It's installed well. Has uh, it's filling the cavity, top to bottom, side to side, front to back. You see, we completely fill the cavity. And it's great. Now, right next to it, you know, we have a little spot here where there's a little dip. Of course, that would be a void when the drywall goes on here. It's a little void. Not supposed to have voids or gaps or over compression. Now, we start looking around. Let's look up here. This is the rim joist up here. You can see they installed the insulation. Could be a little better. See above this window how nice and pretty that is? That's great. Now, some of these over here off to your left. They're uh, compressed a bit, but this is actually a pretty decent job that they've done here. But then we can start looking at the front of this house. We're coming along. There's a little bit of compression, a little bit of a void here. The guys, they, they, uh, the installers, they had no idea that there was going to be a specialty inspector out here, you know, looking at their install. And we have no idea how long these guys have actually been installing insulation. But you see, I'm repairing it as I'm going through. Just pulling it out a little bit, just a couple little touches to get it out into the conditioned surface. Okay. There's a little wire right here, messed up. There's this wire. Now what they should have done was split the bat, okay? Put okay. the insulation behind the wire and then in front of it. So it does not compress. There you go. Done. Yeah. Didn't take uh, long. No, it's just it's just attention to detail, and you know, so these guys can uh, understand what's going on. And number two, there's somebody coming behind them that knows what they're doing. Uh, it is going to hold them to the line.